Hi, I'm Vanessa Conlin, Master of Wine and Head of Wine at Wine Access. And I'm here today tasting part of the Discover France Wine Folly set that I collaborated with, with Madeline Puckett, co-founder of Wine Folly and James Beard award-winning author. So today we're tasting the 2019 Hubert Brochard Sancerre Blanc tradition. So the region of the Loire Valley is a beautiful, long growing region. It's hard to characterize in terms of climate varying from Atlantic to maritime. It has a wide variety of soils, but in Sancerre, where we are today, this is the one of the most inland areas within the Loire, and it's characterized by a lot of limestone and flint in the soil. When we talk about Sancerre Blanc, this is 100% Sauvignon Blanc, and it's a beautiful, crisp expression of this variety. It's an often glass pour that you'll see at restaurants because it's very, very enjoyable by itself, but also wonderful to pair with a lot of different foods. So let's taste it, and then we'll dig more into this region and this producer. So first thing I'm going to do is give it a good swirl, sort of pale lemon in the glass, on the nose, this is not shy. So Sauvignon Blanc is what I refer to as an aromatic variety. Some other aromatic varieties might be Riesling, Gewürztraminer, Tarantas, uh, if we're in South America, and Sauvignon Blanc. So this jumps right out of the glass, tons of pungent citrus. I get a lot of sort of straw, hay. Um, there's a bit of a, it's a it's a term that some people don't like to use anymore, but but minerality, and I definitely get that in the glass, a sort of flinty note to it. Um, so let's taste this wine. And again, when you taste wines, really swish it everywhere on your palate. Don't be afraid to look silly. You're just going to enjoy the wine that much more. tons of acidity. And acidity, even when high in various different wines, acid texturally can feel different. For me, Sauvignon Blanc has this sort of jagged edge to it that's unmistakable in the glass. There's a lot of that citrus note to it. I don't get any oak on this at all. And many producers in Sancerre do not use oak or only used neutral barrels. Um, I also don't get malolactic fermentation in this glass. If I did, I might get more of that sort of buttery note to it. It's very focused. It's very linear, but there is a bit of a textural roundness, which tells me, I believe this spent some time on the lees, um, but basically just a very fresh, crisp, very citrus driven glass of wine, something that really makes me want to pair it with oysters. Something to note is Sancerre Blanc is 100% Sauvignon Blanc. There is Sancerre Rouge produced as well. If you see that, it's going to be 100% Pinot Noir. Hubert Brochard as a producer is the fifth and sixth generation still working this land and making these wines, and they have a very hand touch approach to everything that they do. I think this is a delicious glass of wine. Um, I can't wait to break into my fridge after this. Something else that this is great with is something that also is famous in the region, which is goat cheese. High acid foods, high acid wines, that's a love affair. Well, if you've enjoyed tasting this Sancerre with me, I hope you'll stick around because next we're going to the region of Alsace to taste Pinot Gris.